Hello, Mike here, and today I'm going to show you how to um, uh, boot to your pen drive. So instead of using the, uh, there's going to be an operating system on that pen drive. So um, instead of normally booting to like uh, Windows, whatever, whatever you have, you're going to boot uh, to whatever operating system is on your pen drive. In this case, we're going to use Tiny Core. So um, let's get started. First, you're obviously going to need a pen drive or a flash drive or whatever you call it. And then you're going to need a couple of downloads. Uh, first, Pendrive uh, Linux is universal USB installer. Uh, I'll post the uh, uh, link to this in the description. Just click download there. And you're also going to need um, Tiny Core, the operating system. It's only 12 MB, so it should take like maybe a couple of seconds to a minute to download. So um, now you're going to want to find that Pendrive uh, thing. Pendrive Linux. So um, you're going to need admin. Uh, you're going to need to be an admin on your computer in order to do this. So now you have to accept the license agreement and select a Linux distribution. Uh, in this case, it's going to be uh, Tiny Core, right down there. So um, click on that. And now, you, um, since you download this, it's probably going to be in your downloads folder unless you. Uh, set it to download somewhere else. So, um, just keep it. Just yeah. Just click on it or whatever. And now you have to select your USB flash letter, which in my case is G. If you have a lot of stuff plugged in, you're gonna want to make sure that it's the right letter. So if you go down here, you have that G right there. So now you know it's G. So you're gonna want to know that. So um, now it's gonna ask you if you want to format uh, your drive. Um, now, if you want to save time, you, you don't have to do this if you already have a FAT32 file system on your tiny core. So, um, you go to Properties, and um, just wait for it to come up. Now, as you can see, it'll say File System, and it says FAT32, so I don't have to do that. So, um, so I don't have to do that, so now I just click Create and you have to make sure you want to do all that and now it's going to do all this and it'll say installation done process is complete we're done so close out of all of this uh... close out of my computer and now you're going to want to restart your computer so yeah. Now it's booting up again. You're going to want to catch this. Um, I'll explain how I did this in a moment. So this is what is known as your system BIOS. So um, you're going to, this is like um, your basic input output settings. That was, that's what BIOS stands for. So um, in order to access this, you're going to have to restart your computer. At the very beginning, it'll say press whatever for startup, uh, startup menu, something like that. Just press something. Um, on HP machines, it's escape. On Dell machines, I believe it's F12. That's all I know. So now this is like, you're going to have to navigate to somewhere where it says boot. So just explore it for a while and look for something that looks like boot. So we got boot options. So now you uh, want to go to the boot order, ultimately. And now, um, first, uh, your um, Windows is on, to you, on your hard drive. So this is what I have highlighted right now, right there. That's um, Windows. USB diskette or uh, something of that nature is what your flash drive is. So you want to put that up first. And then you press um, at the bo at the bottom. It'll say like um, change F5 and F6 change values. So um, if you go F5, see it goes up and down. So um, 
I'm just going to move the notebook hard drive up to second. So, yep. Now you go to, you press um, down here it says uh, F10 save and exit. So we'll press F10. Yes. So now it's restarting. And, whoa, that was out of focus. So now, as you can see, that does not look like Windows at all. So, um, this is Tiny Core, and now it's loading all of its files and doing whatever it has to do. And voila, you have the Tiny Core operating system. Um, just move the mouse around, explore a bit. And if you want to shut down, you go to Exit. And also, if you want to change your boot order back to the way it was, just put notebook hard drive up at the very top in System BIOS. That's simple. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and um, yep, expect more tutorials coming soon.